Hey guys, it's me Bunna from Cowsuppers and today I'm going to show you how to make a redli dal. This is a simple and easy to make lentil dish that is warming and healthy and it's full of protein. It's perfect with whole wheat rotli, naan or rice. And it's easy to make in about 30 minutes or even less depending on if you're going to be using a pressure cooker to cook your dal or your lentils. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I'm using black split lentils that are without the black shells. A tomato, green chilies, you can adjust how many you use based on how spicy you'd like your dal to be. Garlic cloves, ginger, and for the temper, we're going to be using cumin seeds, turmeric, asafoetida, and then the oil of your choice. And lastly, some coriander for garnish. I am using some new equipment today, so let me know what you think about the camera angles and stuff. They're a little bit different, and I'm mostly cooking this in my kitchen today. So let me know what you think about the new angles and stuff. Firstly, we're going to rinse out the black lentils. I've used a pressure cooker to boil my dal, but if you don't have one or prefer not to use one, you can boil these in a pot until they're cooked through, which can take between 20 to 30 minutes depending on your hob. I have cooked these in the pressure cooker for about 10 minutes. Whilst the lentils cook, let's prepare the other ingredients. I'm going to start by finely dicing the tomatoes. Next, I'm crushing the green chilies and the ginger together in a small mixer grinder. I've got to put all these on the side and then I'm crushing the garlic by hand and then I'm keeping this separately on a plate as well. Lastly, I'm going to wash and chop my coriander and place this on the side. I'm just giving some new camera angles a go. Let me know what you guys think. This is a shot of me now in the kitchen. We're going to do the temper with the oil. So in a pan, I've added oil and I'm just waiting for it to cook and I'm ready with my cumin seeds or jiru. As soon as the oil is done, I'm going to add the cumin seeds and let this splatter. This is then going to be followed by the curry leaves and then the asafoetida or the hing. Once these are really well cooked through and you can smell the lovely fragrances from the oil, only add the garlic. Once you've added the garlic, give the pan a really good stir and then turn the heat down to very low or you can even turn it off if you prefer. I prefer to turn it off because it saves my garlic from burning. Now, I've opened up my pressure cooker and I can see my lentils are beautifully cooked. So, to this, I add the diced tomatoes, followed by the turmeric or hardar, and then this is followed by the crushed green chilies and ginger. Give the lentils a really good stir. and then bring back the oil pot with the garlic. The oil should be still very hot and so I'm gonna carefully add my lentils to the oil and it will temper the vegetables slightly as well. Now, give the pan a really good stir. You can adjust the amount of water, salts and even spiciness of this portion of the dal if you like. And then allow the dal to just simmer and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. It is ready to enjoy immediately or you can make this in the morning and then have this for dinner or lunch. I hope you guys like the recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Bye!